Did you know that you don't need a fancy recording studio like this to create videos? In fact, you don't even need to be on camera. Making an AI avatar like this is actually very simple. And the best thing is, you can make this for completely free. In this video, I'll be showing you the full workflow from how you can get started with generating your image to making the voiceover and also animating your avatar. So in the end, you have your complete AI avatar for free and without a watermark. Now the first step to creating your AI avatar is creating your image. We will be using Leonardo AI for this. If you type in leonardo.ai on your browser, then you will come across this website. Here you click on launch app and then you have to log in. I'm already logged in, so we're moving on. And then you click on image creation. Now, while you're here, let me explain why we will be using Leonardo AI. If you click here on the credits, then you can see with your free account, you get 150 credits. You get those credits daily. So if you don't manage to create your AI avatar, which will be highly unlikely today, then you can do that tomorrow. So let's now create our first AI avatar image. Now we will be using this prompt. I will leave that prompt in the description down below so you can copy it. And here we can create our avatar. But before you do that, make sure you change these things. For example, you can change the age. If you want to have a younger avatar, then you can do that as well. I want to have an avatar that is kind of like me. So I'm going to do a 24 year old avatar. Then you're going to change the gender so you can do male or female. Let's do a male for this example. Then here you can also change a few settings. For example, you can change the colors if you want to have a specific color in there. You can change what's on the desk. I, for example, have a microphone, a laptop and some papers. Now then, if you're ready with your AI avatar, then don't click on generate yet. We first need to change our settings. So we're going to use a different preset. For this, we're going to use cinematic Kino as that one works the best one in my experience. Then for the style, we're going to keep it at cinematic. The contrast, we're going to keep it at medium. Then for the conversion mode, you have to keep it as fast if you're using the free plan. The image dimension for this, I'm going to use 16 by 9. But if you want to do this on maybe your phone, then you can scroll and you can do like a 9 by 16, for example. But for this example, we're going to keep it at 16 by 9. Then the file size as large as possible with the free plan that is medium. And then we're going to create four images. So now that you have your settings ready, we can click on generate image. And this usually takes a couple of seconds. So here we have our first images. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks quite good. Now, if you don't like what you see, you can just use the same prompt and click on generate again. Or you can change some of the parameters. So let me actually do someone that is 20 years old. And now let me also do a female. So now we already have like 16 images in total. So take a look at our credits. It goes quickly. So be wise with your prompt. If you run out of credits, you might have to wait a day or you have to create a new account. Now you select whatever image you like the most. I'm using this one for this. And then we click download on that image. So now we have our image download and now we're ready for the next step. So step number two will be to upscale our image because the quality of Leonardo AI right now is not good enough. We want to have a higher quality so we can make better AI avatar videos. So for this, we'll be using Kriya AI. Within Kriya, you can simply create a free account. As you can see right here, I'm on the free plan right there. Now, then you go to the home screen and here you click on Enhancer. What you can do now is you click on your downloads and then you drop in your video. As you can see, I already have tried this a couple of times. And now it asks you how much you want to upscale this. With the free plan, you're only able to upscale two times, which is enough for this video. Here you can see the impact that AI enhancement does to your video. So right here, you can see it's a bit too smooth. And here we have a bit more texture. We even have a small like stubble beard going on. Then we also see like within the MacBook, a lot more details in there. So overall, it looks a bit sharper and more detailed. So once you're happy with your video, you click on download and now your image has been downloaded. Now, if you're like me and you want to get the most out of your AI tools, then I would highly suggest taking a look at this spreadsheet from HubSpot. You can download this spreadsheet for free by clicking the link in the description down below. Now for my team, I track all the AI tools that we're using with this spreadsheet. I add the relevant settings, explanations, and I delegate my task in there. And that gives us a clear overview of 
of what tools we have available, how they work and how effective they are. With so many AI tools, it's hard to keep track which ones are actually useful. For example, for this video, I've written out all the AI tools that we're using in this workflow. And then I shared all the tips and tricks in this spreadsheet to my team so they know exactly how it works and they can create some good videos with it. A huge shout out to HubSpot for making this research for free. You can find it in the description. And also thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Step number three is to animate your image. And for this, we'll be using DubDub. Now, all you have to do is you have to log in. I'm already logged in. Then you have your account created. You can just do this with a free account. I'm on a free account as well. Then you click on studio. And here you can see we are in DubDub itself. Then you click on AI avatar and then you can upload your face photo. This is a important step. Don't do any of these other things. Just do upload your face photo. Here you take the image that you have from your AI avatar. You click on open and now you have to crop your image. So how we do this is as followed. We just do it with the free cutting tool. Let me drag it a little bit down. Drag this a little bit up. And now we hit confirm. And now our image is uploading. The next step is adding in our voice over. There are three ways we can do this. The first one is using the dub dub voice. In my opinion, these aren't the best or most high quality voices out there. So I have two suggestions for you. Now the free option is using text-to-speech by OpenAI. The way it works is as follows. You simply go to this website and then you can choose any voice that you'd like. I already have done the hard work for you of listening to all the voices that they have out there. And I've selected these voices as my favorite ones um, if you're using a male voiceover. Now, if you're using a female voiceover, then I would suggest using these ones. Now we simply have to select a voice. The way I do that is I just listen to a voice like this one. I is a technology that converts text into... And then what I do is I go back to the image and I simply look into his eyes and I'm like, hmm, do you sound like that or not? Nah? So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing for my voiceover. So once you've found your favorite voiceover, let's actually choose this one. Then you type in a text that you want. So I'm going to do like, hey, make sure to subscribe to Dan. You basically type your text, then you can play around with your speed. I'm going to keep it or I'm going to do it a little bit faster than usual. And then I'm going to click on create speech. Now you click on go to history. And here after this is done processing, you can download this. So let's actually wait for this. Hey, make sure to subscribe to Dan. So now we click on download and now we can use this in DubDub and we click upload and we upload our voiceover right there. Now, if you're really serious about this, then I would actually suggest investing into Eleven Labs because that will give you the best voiceovers. I, for example, have the basic plan, which is $5 per month, and it allows me to create like high quality voices that real people have made. I think if we compare Eleven Labs with text-to-speech, it's actually very close, but Eleven Labs still wins. So within Eleven Labs, if you have the free plan, you actually get access to all of these free voices that you can use for your content. But the best ones are like the community ones with those like check marks on them. And those are the ones I would recommend. Now, once you're ready with your voiceover, then you click on generate talking avatar. And here you can see this will cost us a bit of credit to make our video. So we click on generate and then you can see we have it with a watermark, but don't worry, I will show you how to remove this after. The video is now done and my avatar got something to tell you. Hey, make sure to subscribe to Dan. Now the last step to making your AI avatar complete is to remove this annoying watermark because that looks very unprofessionally. Now, the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this is to just go to CapCut. This is also the free version, so you can just use this. You upload your video in there, then you take your image and then you drop it in there too. And then what you do is you basically, you have your video below, then you have your image on top and then you create a mask. So you can see you're probably here on basic, then you click on mask and then you click on rectangle and then you move this rectangle over on your watermark. And as you can see, it removes it. That's because basically all that is moving is this guy's face and the rest of it is not moving at all. So you've just created your mask. Now you make sure to cut this and now you have yourself your own video if you hit export. If you want to see the best AI images that you can use for free, then click the video that's on the screen right now. And if you want me to make more videos where I test out AI tools that you can use for free, then make sure to subscribe.